Is it true that you once got, um, I've forgotten his name, Jeremy Kyle? Oh, yeah. To do a team talk for you. <laughs> I got the kit man once. <laughs> <laughs> right, we need that story in a minute. Right, Phil. I uh, I bumped into Jeremy Kyle in the uh, you know, John will, John will know the place uh, Cheltenham Race Course Owners and Trainers Bar, Lovely. and it's after a, a festival race, and he's a big wig, guaranteed. And I didn't realise he was that heavily involved in in horse racing, but he was there holding court, and I was in there. And uh, he came across to me and I didn't realise you were involved in horse racing, blah, blah, blah. So he started talking horse racing, basically. And eventually I realised he, he seems a decent fella, this. So we've had a, we had a couple of nights out and I said, really having a problem with your players, uh, sorry, with my players at the time at South End. He said, what's the problem? I said, they're coming every morning and they're talking about you. And he's like, what <laughs> How sad's that one, by the way? I'm never, sure that one, that's a new one on me, that is. You're, the players <laughs> watching Jeremy Kyle in the but, morning. But they're watching oh. they're watching how earlier. he deals with things and how he goes on about, you know, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. So I said, You wouldn't do us a favour coming and do a team talk with him. And he went, You serious? I said, We've got I, I can't remember who we were playing, it was Peterborough. You know, Peterborough at South End. Yeah. Well, he would not have been. I mean, this is a beautiful studio, by the way. He would not have been used to if you if you cordon that area off there. That was the full size of our change room at South End. It was tiny, and he walked in, and I've just seen a group of players that I thought, "Wow, Ant- Anton Ferdinand." People like, "Oh God, Anton like, Ferdinand." They were like, they started moving back, and you can't move any further back. Oh. You know, but, but then they're sort of <laughs> splattering themselves up against the wall. Yeah. He didn't see it. He was as nervous as them. So when he came in and he was like about to deliver something, he didn't realise how much fear was in there. Didn't matter what he had said, Sam. He, he could have gotten away with it. You know, them kind of reactions. And I'm standing behind him going, what? This is unusual. <laughs> so I dragged him back out into my office and I went, how do you think that went? He went, I was rubbish. I couldn't actually do that. You know, if it had been on the TV, he yeah. said I would be, be sure would have been crushed. But sure enough, he was panicking. He was nervous about a group of players. And we were, what, first division at the time? To the third tier of English football? Big players. Wow. I mean, Anton Ferdinand's a big yeah. player. Um, so what he, was the score? He had, what was the score? Yeah. Oh, we didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> and I blamed him in the press. <laughs> <laughs> we, drew, we drew 1-1. <laughs> <laughs> 